It's Morgan time. Hey everyone, Silver Steeler here. It's been a long time since I purchased any Morgan Silver Dollars, and on that trip to Michigan when I met Talking Bullion, I got a few. Now well, I got three, exactly. I got an 1891S, an 1887 Philly, and an 1884 San Francisco. Two of them are upgrades for coins that I believe to be clean. Well, one of them isn't clean, but it's in much better condition. I'll show you right now. This 1891S, been some debate between Winning and I as to whether or not this is cleaned. I believe it to be cleaned. I think our face is just way too polished. Actually, why don't we just get it right out of there? check that out just looks like it's been polished to me so I've wanted another one and at that flea market found one coin show coin show what did I say coin shop coin, flea market flea market well been <laughs> around a little bit lately so this was at the coin show in Grand Rapids and this is that 91 S that replaces it. I've already scored the underneath. I don't like them in these flips. Just don't care for them. Oops, still got some of the plastic on there. Got a little bit of toning going on in the four or five o'clock area, but much nicer piece than what I had before. And I'm pretty sure that this one has not been cleaned. So there is the 1891S, and I'll just simply have this one be the new home. Winning, you want to help me out there? The gloves are sticking all over the place. All right, there, so there's the 1891S. Now for the 1884S, this wasn't an upgrade. I just didn't have one. I have all the 1878 through 1883 and MS-64 from NGC. I got those ones slab, but once you get to the 1884S, it starts to get a lot more expensive. They weren't minted in the amount, and not a lot of them have survived in great condition. I mean, it's not that you can't find it, but you're going to pay for it. This is just a hole filler for me. I think I got it for, I talked them down to $30, $35 on it, so... It's just a hole filler for me. Just needed to have an 84S. So let's take a look at it. Yeah, I mean, it's seen some traveling. But what a story this coin would tell. Very, very nice. Still like it. Great hole filler. Let's get her in there. And an 1884S. Very nice. And last but not least, the 1887 Philly. Now, this one is an upgrade. This one wasn't cleaned. It's a very nice looking coin. It's just when I saw this one at the coin show, the one behind it there, that I'm going to replace this one with. The very, very nice condition. Let's show this one off here real quick. Pretty. Not been cleaned. This will be going in my typeset album, my 7070. I've chosen this coin since the one I have behind it. Wait till you see this one. This one was my favorite purchase that day. Whoa. Yeah, we got a blazer. So again, already been scored. I just don't like them flips. Look at this. Guy had a label proof like and does have some mirroring going on, but I don't know if they'd give it that. But as far as being a blazer, whew, that is nice. 
So a definite upgrade on that. That's almost too bright. It's just beautiful. Well, I hadn't done a Morgan video in a long time. I haven't really been collecting them. I've been just stacking up all kinds of other kinds of silver, especially a lot of two ounce rounds. Starting to get back into wanting my Morgans again. And this, this helps a lot. That's my favorite one. So we'll put that one right in there. Does that look pretty good, Winnie? Yeah. She's beautiful. She is. That uh, uh, is a pretty 1887 filly. And this is the way I like to keep them. I don't like them in them flips. So there you go. Been a while since I did a Morgan Dollar update. I'll have to get them all out one time and give an overall update sometime. But here's three new additions to my Morgan Silver Dollar collection. Remember to like, subscribe, and all those other good things. I'll see you on the next video. Bye, everyone.